So the UK economy is still growing, but the pace of recovery is slowing. And our economy, unusually among the G7 group of leading industrial nations, has yet to fully recover from lockdown, with gross domestic product, or GDP, still smaller than it was prior to this ghastly pandemic. That GDP measure, the most commonly used gauge of economic activity, was just 1.3% higher between June and September than it was during the same period in 2020. The same figure between April and June was 5.5%, so growth has slowed down considerably. Chancellor Rishi Sunak insists the UK is doing better than other advanced nations except the US, where GDP grew by 2% between June and September, the third quarter of this year. But while UK growth is now slightly faster than most similar nations, our economy remains 2.1% smaller than it was at the end of 2019, that is, prior to this pandemic. That's a bigger shortfall than the likes of Germany, Italy and France. While only the US among the big Western economies has fully recovered to pre-pandemic levels. This third quarter slowdown from 5.5% to 1.3% growth shows that after the initial post-lockdown bounce back, the UK economy is now suffering from ongoing supply chain snarl-ups. Amidst cost of living rises and spiralling energy bills, consumer confidence and retail sales fell over successive summer months, although the October numbers do show some recovery. But even that could be due to early Christmas shopping, with shoppers worrying we could see winter shortages. In his budget statement last month, Sunak based all of his sums on full-year growth projections of 6.5% this year and 6% in 2022. Will that really happen? The UK hasn't expanded at that pace for more than 50 years. And today's GDP figures do little to inspire trust that the Chancellor's high growth forecasts will actually be met. And looming large over the UK economy, of course, is inflation, now expected to hit 5% over the coming months well over double the Bank of England's 2% target. The US just recorded its highest headline inflation rate for more than 30 years, 6.2%. And the Bank of England's previous insistence that high UK inflation will be, quote, transitory, is starting to look a bit silly. On the money remains an upbeat show. We aren't here to do Britain down, far from it. But with GDP growth slowing and inflation rising, the question must be asked. Is the UK recovery now under threat?